Hey, good morning, YouTube. I'm here this morning to um, introduce you to a package uh, that I got this morning. And uh, it is from Shabin Ali. Uh, he's got some pretty nice decants. You guys should really check him out if you're looking for some semi-niche uh, niche and uh, semi-good uh, others. The uh, package that I got today is going to be three samples. Of course, you know me. I like to do samples. I got to try them out before I buy a bottle, especially some of these. And uh, stay tuned. And I will let you know what I got. This is DB. And I'm about to take you behind the nonsense. <laughs> So the package I got today, uh, the first one I had to redo the label was kind of messed up. And y'all know me, I like nice looking labels. The first one we're going to have is uh, Parfums de Marley. Byerly. The second is going to be Parfums de Marley Percival. And the third one is going to be Fragrance One Office Ferment. I will give you my first impressions on all three of these. So, without further ado, let's get started with Byerly. Ooh, a little bit weird in the opening. I got a really, I don't know how to explain that. That's got a very, uh, uh, stinky opening, I guess is the way to put it. it smells very pungent. Um, sorry, I don't look up the notes because I, I personally don't care about notes. I personally just like to know what it smells like. I mean, it, once it dries down, it smells pretty good, actually. But the projection on this is going to come across at first very... I don't even know how to explain it, but like fungish, <laughs> it, it kind of stinks. <laughs> Once it dries down, it doesn't smell too bad. I'm not sure if I will want to buy a full bottle of this, um, but I'll have to give it a full wearing. Y'all know I'm going to have to wear it uh, to let you guys know what I think of it. But just off the dot, just off the break, I, I don't think it's going to be for me. The next one is going to be Parfums de Marley Percival's. And Percival is one that I've actually been looking for for quite some time. So I'm excited to try this one. I have not smelled it. None of these I've smelled. So now that one's nice. I like that one. I uh, heard a lot of reviewers talk about Percival. I got it on my fingers. And um, said it's one of the ones that people should get. And I agree. It's got a very nice uh, fresh scent with just a tint of darkness to it. So I'm overly impressed with the Percival. Now this is one that I'll probably end up getting into my collection. And last is going to be fragrance one office for men this one here i hear very mixed reviews on some people say it is a synthetic headache some people say it's rather sexy and at the same time on the good side some people say it's a very professional so db is going to get to the bottom of it because if it stinks it stinks so without further ado i'm going to put the rest my suspicions that's why i got all these is because i'm sick and tired of hearing the mixed reviews so i got to check it out for myself which i suggest you do the same just because my review is something that i may like is something you may not like um especially first impressions videos i don't always expect people to hop on board uh with a first impression so you know look for my uh, full reviews on these bottles which will definitely be headed around the corner and I'll let you know, man, I, um, I do have to start getting into letting people know if I get compliments. And I, 
and I know I should, but at the same time, I get compliments from usually the same old people. Every now and then, somebody will switch it up um, and give me a compliment that I don't hear from them. But there's guys in my work that are, are fragrance lovers like I am, are always hitting me up for something. And um, they're always telling me, man, what do you got on? And I try not to stink. So anyway, Office for Men. Off, yeah. Fragrance One, Office for Men. Synthetic headache. <laughs> it's, um, I mean, it smells great, but very synthetic. You can, you can just smell the, it smells good. It really does. I, I like it. Would it be something I'd like to purchase? I don't know. Just off the break, just off the very top of it, it's, it's going to be synthetic. There's a, definitely a lot of synthetic in this um, seems to be what a lot of companies are going to nowadays is the syntheticness of everything I, I personally don't care either way if it smells good it smells good but I prefer to stay away from as much synthetic garbage as I can I do I just find that when you're trying to you know use synthetic vetiver or, or synthetic oak moss or um, a big one they're using nowadays um, is guiac wood for uh, some of the stuff I mean I just can't get down with why people would want to use synthetic try to use as much natural as you can um, there are some things that are are um, like oud is like one of those ingredients that's drying up fast and I know sometimes you got to make exceptions but it's noticeable to people with noses like I mean, not even really me. I do have a pretty decent nose, but other people who have better noses, they're gonna they're gonna figure out the syntheticness ASAP. I've smelled a lot of synthetic oud, and I, I cannot stand it. And I like oud as long as it's a fresh, smooth oud. I don't get into synthetic stuff too well, but stink, no. Powerful, yes. Someone described it as a synthetic headache. I can understand why. Um, I I don't get headaches too often so it may not give me a synthetic headache <laughs> but uh synthetic for sure i don't really smell too much um natural ingredients in it so anyways guys it's uh it's been one of those days and um i'll be moving within a week so my atmosphere behind me may change uh december the 6th i'll be in a new place so the atmosphere around me may change and it's going to get a little bit more professional. So stick with me, but, uh, give a shout out to all the people in the small fry squad, man. Appreciate, uh, most of you that I know and I deal with appreciate, um, uh, you know, the shout outs and, and, uh, appreciate you guys, uh, subscribing to my channel. Uh, Hey, don't forget if you really like what you see, man, subscribe, just give me some love. I, I don't expect thousands of viewers. I, I know I'm not that entertaining, but, uh, if you if you don't like what you see, give me a thumbs down. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you need to make a comment, ask any questions, I love it. It's one of my favorite things to do is respond to the comments. Um, keep it positive. If you have a negative comment, I'm on Facebook. You know, hit me up on Messenger. Um, just to let you guys know, uh, there are now three... Um, houses that I will not review. I will not give you those names. If you would like to know those personally, I will. Um, you know, people who don't want to shout me out are not going to get shout outs. I know I, I'm not big. I know I'll, I will be eventually. Things are going to improve, I'm sure, and, and I'll get bigger. Uh, I, I'm not going to shout you out. It, it, this is a positive world I'm trying to create, not a negative. So if you don't want to have the decency to shout me out, please don't expect me to shout you back out. I'm not, I'm just simply not going to do it. Uh, you want to be childish. I'm just going to try to be grown up. I'm not going to cause a scene and, and, and do anything uh, off the wall, call you out, cuss you out, which I don't do anyway. Um, but we need positivity in this whole uh, thing we're doing. You know, uh, like my boy Bro Sense says, man, strive to the top, be positive. I, I agree with that 100%. Um, 
you know, so I just try to stick with the positive people. OG Gabriel, hey man, always appreciate what you do. Always positive. Uh, got my back no matter what. Um, even though the haters come at you, same with you, uh, bro. Since uh, I know you were, you know, kind of sluggish about it at first, but man, you know, you. I mean, a shout out's a shout out, man. If you if I send something to you and you love it, shout it out. Um, be a man. Don't don't go against. Don't go with what other people say. I was grew up very old school. And what I'd like to say is form your own opinions. If somebody comes at me saying somebody, somebody, something, it didn't affect me. Until it affects me, I don't care. Okay? Is it a shame that people screw people over? Absolutely. Um, I've never screwed anybody over at all. Uh, you know, the mistakes that I've made, I've paid for. So there really shouldn't be any more... Dwayne, 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 Dwayne stuff going around, but you know, whatever. Haters going to hate. Let them hate. So I just like to keep this positive. I like to keep this informative. And if it gets to the point where nothing positive is coming out of it, I'll shut it down. I mean, I like doing it because people ask me to do it, but I'm, I mean, I love doing this, but you know, I'm at 11 minutes right now. That's 11 minutes I could be laying down and getting some sleep ready for work, but I do it because. I like to do it, and I've been asked to do it. So anyway, I'll get up off of that topic. Keep it positive and 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 enjoy what uh, some of these reviewers are bringing to you. Uh, the three houses that I will not review, some other people will review, and I'll refer you to them. But for me, I won't do it. They've treated me badly. They will not shout me out because of things, so I'm not going to give them any more publicity. With that being said, this is DB, and I just took you behind the nonsense. Have a great day, everybody.